Good morning, everybody. This is Mike from Ice Grower 101. I want to go over this is a pretty quick little tip. Uh, I've seen a lot of growers out there on videos and new growers, uh, Instagram, and uh, on YouTube where they have their plants. They're starting out and they're stretching, but theirs are like real stretching, real tall, and they're lanky and they're looking bad, and they're wondering what to do. They don't know what they've done wrong. Well, stretching. It's caused by either the light is too far away or you have the power turned down on it too much. Now, I'm not criticizing that because we don't want to burn up the babies, which you can do very easy. So it's better to let them stretch. And what I do, I plan for it. I leave a good two and a half to three inches. These are all about two and a half inches of soil down. I leave that much left. I let them stretch and then I backfill with earthworm castings. So I want them to stretch like this and I have a fan blowing on them and that also helps strengthen up the stem. On this one I actually had a seed that didn't come up so I was planting another one and lo and behold it came up so I got two of them so, what I'm going to do now is show you what I do. So what you want to do is let them stretch. That way you're not killing them. But, to correct it, correct it, you got to think ahead. Know they're going to stretch. So, whatever you're planting them in, give them, give them a couple inches. Keep the dirt a couple inches above the top. That way when they start stretching... You can backfill and also when you're backfilling, if by chance your ceiling is a little crooked, that's a good time to straighten it up. So now, there you have it. No longer do you have a stretching plant. Now you put the light, since it's got its first set of leaves, uh, you can go ahead and put your light at a more normal distance to stop the stretch, and you're good to go. It's that simple. Plus you got the earthworm castings, that it's super good for the uh, plant. It'll also, sometimes what I do is take uh, Clonex and I'll put on the stem itself. And sometimes that promotes rooting off of that stem. Sometimes it don't. It's a hit and miss thing of that because you don't, there's no, you don't want to slice the side of your stem to allow, to get to the plant itself where the rooting compound can take hold. So it's just a flip of the coin if it if it takes if it does, if, if, if it works. But anyway, so unless I got this one back here, so rather than bore you with all, all all of them, I just wanted to show you that's what I do. That's a good little trick. So that's how you fix your stretch, and you fix it your stretch by thinking ahead. Know they're going to stretch. Leave plenty of room in your planter or wherever you're planting in. When they start to stretch and backfill. You can use regular soil too. You don't have to use earthworm castings. That's what I use. And that way I don't have to feed the plant for a while. So that's it for today. Tip of the day. How to deal with the stretching of your plants. This is Mike from Mike's Growing 101. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. There's a picture of them. Stretch. No stretch. I try to fix it. I see it all the time on YouTube and Instagram, and people wondering, "Why? Right, what the heck? What do I do? What do I do?" Well, there you go. First thing you do is think ahead. That's the first thing you do. Know they're going to stretch and be ready for it.
All right, see you guys.